Hello and we're back with another Premier League video cast. We missed it last week and you only had one losing tip, didn't you? What are the chances? What are Absolute the chances? Absolute shocker. Look at my hair, it looks like a bird's nest. We I did well last week. It wasn't anything. proved on video, but it was proved on site. We have plenty of winners, <laughs> including our um, our new article <laughs> with World Soccer, the um, really good magazine which is um, mm. available at all good newsstands, also online. Uh, we now do a... Um, piece with them. Um, if you followed it on there, we had uh, four winners out of five. The only winner that we didn't get was um, Juventus minus two, and they won 2-0, so that's pretty oh, that's annoying. annoying. But there you go. Um, if you do want to head over to World Soccer for um, our tips, then you can do that as well, as well as using our, our own services, of course, and our social networks. But let's move now to the top ten Premier League tips. I'm going to be starting with the early game. Jake, May United against Bournemouth. May not to win both halves here at 13 to 8 looks a really good price. No Premier League team have conceded more goals in 2017 than Bournemouth, and that away form reads seven defeats in eight. So well, going sir. to Old Trafford won't fill them with too much confidence. May United are on a 16 match undefeated streak in the league, and they've scored nine goals in the last four at Old Trafford. So back the red, so back the Red Devils to win both halves at 13 to 8 in the early game on Saturday. Mourinho, Zlatan, Pogba, three. Down. The three. <laughs> the three. Zlatan. Epic. How good is he? How old, how old and how good? People weren't entirely sure if he was going to do it in the Premier League. No. I think I remember he's everyone, answered every single Everyone question. used to always say how he didn't play well against English teams or against England. Apart from when he scored that every kick mm. from the halfway line. My girlfriend. The only girl <laughs> that my girlfriend will watch ever. <laughs> because she thinks it's great. I don't know why. Um, Leicester versus Hull. Uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock also. Yep. Um, if you... Remember correctly, this was actually the opening game of the season. Um, okay. Hull played uh, Premier League champions Leicester at the time, and Hull won. And everyone was like, well, that's just a blip for Leicester. Yeah. But it just <laughs> continued throughout the whole season. Yeah. Um, of course, Ranieri throughout is now... Throughout the whole season. <laughs> oh, hello. Mm -hmm. It's a journalist for a reason. Um, <laughs> so, um, Leicester, of course, have got rid of Claudio Ranieri. Craig Shakespeare's come in. They won on Monday night in... Pretty emphatic style against Liverpool in a 3-1 win. They were really good in that game, back to their 4-4-2 um, system. And it's an absolutely massive game for Leicester down at the bottom. And I think they're possibly a bit too short to win here at 17-20. But if they do replicate the work rate and the desire from Monday night, they will win this game against an improving Tigers. But mostly they get all their points at home, do Hull. Hull have lost 10 of their last 11 on the road in all competitions. So away from the KC, they really struggle. And if Leicester can replicate what, what they performed on Monday, they should win this game. So 17 to 20, I think just about is a fair price. Okay. Next up is double game week Stoke versus Middlesbrough. Fancy players. Make sure you get the old yes. Stoke players in there. I've gone for Crouch. Arnautovic. Crouchy. <laughs> Crouchy. Crouchy double hat trick. Absolutely. Triple captain, double hat trick. That's what you want. That's what everyone wants. So let's head to um, the newly named Bet365 Stadium at Stoke City. They're going to be playing Middlesbrough, who are just terrible at scoring goals. Uh, Stoke have, have conceded just nine goals in the last 12 home games, and they've kept five clean sheets in the process. So against the lowest scoring team in the whole Premier League, Middlesbrough, I fancy them to win to nil on Saturday against um, Middlesbrough Stoke. So that's two to one best price. Stoke to win to nil. Uh, their very last game at home, they they beat Crystal Palace one nil. Mm -hmm. So a um, similar scoreline will do us just fine there. Best price two to one on Middlesbrough, basically not to score a goal, which this season seems to be a winning bet. Poor Paul Negredo. Yeah, absolutely. Swansea versus Burnley. Uh, obviously, Clement has nailed it at Swansea. Yeah. Burnley away from home, not so good. Yeah, I've been back in Burnley away from home for a while now, and they keep on letting me down. No. <laughs> um, they're not that bad a team. They're, they're, they're not in a relegation scrap for a reason, um, but sadly, they just keep on finding ways to drop points away from home. That's just two points away from home. They've, they've conjured up all season long. Swansea should pick up the three points here. Ashley Barnes is suspended for the Clarets. The Swans have never lost to Burnley at the Liberty Stadium. Burnley also, of course, have their terrible away record. So, um, back in Swansea to win here, 15-14, to 14, decent price, odds against. It's just too good to ignore up against a Burnley team that have proven they can't do it away from home. Yeah. OK, next up is Watford versus Southampton. Um, how is this going to go? 
Yeah, Watford v Southampton, pretty interesting match. Um, interestingly here, Watford have an absolutely horrible record against the, the Saints. They've got no win in, in their last six games in all competitions against Southampton. But as they have lost just four games all season long at, at, at Vicarage Road, and only Stoke aren't a team from the top six who have beaten them this season, so it seems to be only the better teams that do beat them. Okay. I'm not necessarily sure that I count Southampton in that, even Ooh. though they did play well in the EFL Cup final. Um, their league position proves that they're not quite there yet. Um, so I fancy Walter Mezari's side here to get some kind of result. I think they're overpriced here. At eight to five, draw no bet. That's a really good price for a home team in the Premier League. Um, Southampton are a decent side, but away from home, they've they've hardly been prolific this no. season. Granted, they beat Sunderland four 0 recently away from home, but who doesn't do that these days? <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, Watford draw no bet eight to five. Yeah, I think that's a good bet. I think Southampton's confidence is obviously going to be hit as well. They should have beaten United in the Cup final. And Video technology, didn't. please come in. Oh, Jesus. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, uh, I, th- I might I might have, have a little back of Watford to win without drawing over. Ooh, they are a, a, a big price. Big yeah. price. Next up, West Brom versus uh, Sam Allardyce. Up <laughs> against Big Sam. Mm. Uh, yeah, West Brom have been absolutely brilliant at the Hawthorns this season. But I do fancy Crystal Palace... Here, who are starting to um, gel with their big money signings in January to win either half on Saturday. Their defence looked far more assured last weekend with Mohamedou Sako on loan from Liverpool in it. Um, and Wilfred Zaha f- f- finally refound the form that he was showing p- previous to when he went to the Af- Africa Cup of Nations when he really didn't perform for Ivory Coast and then came back in the Premier League and didn't really look himself either. But mm. up against Middlesbrough last week, they um, he looked back to his best. So... I'm going to be backing Crystal Palace here to win either half. A decent price there is seven to five. So they mm. could lose the game four one and just win the first half or just win the second half one nil. Um, so that's a decent price, I think. Crystal Palace to win either half at seven to five. Okay. Next up is a humdinger. A it hum is the big one of the weekend. That's it. That's Liverpool true. versus Arsenal. Yeah. Um, Anfield um, is a good place for um, for Liverpool usually. Tottenham went there um, with plenty of confidence and lost 2-0. But then they followed up with a pitiful display against um, Leicester on Monday night. Lost 3-1, showed no real passion in that game at all. Uh, and I, I, I do fancy Arsenal to get a result here. I think Arsenal double chance. To, so, so even to win or draw this game at 5-6, I think that's a really nice price. Mm. Um, Arsenal have not lost 14 of their last 24 at Liverpool. So they, so they haven't got a terrible record at Anfield. And I fancy them to get some kind of result, either a win or a draw here with our bet of double chance, 5-6. to six. Arsene Wenger's side have lost just three matches away from home all season in the Premier League, so they're a decent away from home, and even if they get a draw here, we we win our bet, and at 5-6, to six, I think that's a really nice price. Okay. Next up, Spurs versus... versus. <laughs> versus. <laughs> Spurs versus Everton, another massive game. game. Um, yeah. Spurs have been weird on form recently, they're really good last time. Um, yeah. How do you think this is going to go? Yeah, I... Playing at Wembley was a mistake, wasn't it, for, yeah. for uh, Tottenham? Um, when you look at their record at White Hart Lane, their, their record at White Hart Lane is absolutely brilliant. They're the only team undefeated still um, at home in the Premier League, and they've, and they've won now eight in a row in the Premier League. So if you fancy them to um, to win here, you, you can get a pretty short price up against a decent Everton team. So I wouldn't go for a straight-out Tottenham win, because it's too, it's too short for me, but we can squeeze out a bit more value here, getting five to four. It, I do think that they'll win the game, um, but you can squeeze out a little bit more by backing Harry Kane to score in that game as well. Okay. He scored six goals in his last three games, two hat tricks. <laughs> not bad, not bad. No. Um, so to um, for Tottenham to win the game and Harry Kane to score a goal, five to four, much better price than just backing Tottenham to win the game. When you think that Harry Kane probably will will be the one to get the mm. goal. He needs to do it for England though. He before I can start liking him. <laughs> Sunderland versus Man City. Man City also have a double game week. Aguero, triple yep. captain. Thank you very much. Well done, Give sir. me the league title already. Well done. Uh, yeah, so um, Sunderland against Man City. Um, the match which gave us the absolutely glorious Martin Tyler commentary a few years ago of J J J J. Is that <laughs> best commentary ever? Sessegnon for G. He's round the goalkeeper, he's done it! Um, 
<laughs> Hopefully we'll get something similar to that. Um, but I do think here, Man City to win and both teams to score. 17 to 10 for the, that price is. Decent money. Sunderland have lost each of the last five matches in the Premier League against Man City, so you have, have to fancy the citizens here, especially as they have won six of the last seven games in all competitions. Mm -hmm. However, they have conceded four goals in the last two games, so their defence is far from watertight. So Man City to win, both teams to score, 17 to 10. Love it. Love it. Next up, for, and final game that we're going to be covering at Monday at 8 o'clock. West Ham versus Chelsea. Big ass London derby. Yeah, it's the big one. It's already happened this season, of course, in the EFL Cup, where the Hammers picked up a surprise 2-1 win and knocked Chelsea out of the EFL Cup, where Chelsea played a strong team as well. Mm. Um, so, th so they are capable of winning this game, and if you do fancy a Hammers outright win, 5-1, to one, big price, especially as Andy Carroll is back in training. Oh, if he goes to China, I'm going to have to end it. <laughs> I'm going to have to end it. What? Yeah. What, everything in my life. <laughs> oh god, no, Andy, stay. Please stay in stay England, put. Andy. <laughs> stay put. We need Jake for his video. <laughs> um, so I'm not entirely sure that West Ham are going to pick up the win again. It was an amazing feat in the FL Cup, but I'm not entirely sure that they can do it in the Premier League. Um, however, I do think that both teams to score is a really good shout. The Hammers have only failed to score one in the last six games, so they're scoring goals. Plus Chelsea, who are absolutely supreme in defence throughout the, pretty much the whole season have mm. now gone one clean sheet in five games Ooh. so all those people including me have got Courtois Aspilicueta and other Chelsea defenders in their fantasy teams are starting to get a bit sweaty because yeah. they can't give keep a clean sheet at the moment so both teams to score 10 to 11 best price nice that's a tenfold there we're going to win all of them that is the tenfold the Premier League tenfold the Premier League Aka. every single game Thank you very much. Can you put draw no bet in a in a hacker? Mm, okay. Let's find out. Might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you everyone for watching. Um, don't know if any of you like Cheltenham or horse racing. Probably some of you do. Some of you might not. Some of them might like just might might just like the town of Cheltenham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a brand new Cheltenham app which has all the best odds, lots and lots of tips from me, other pieces of content. Um, free bets and offers. Free bets and offers. Results from last year. Um, yeah, talking about free bets of off and offers. Genting have got a decent offer on at the moment for Cheltenham. So make sure you check that out. Um, there'll be a link at some point in the video. Um, but yeah, like our, like our videos. Subscribe to our channel. Comment if you have any thoughts on any of my selections in my tenfold, including. Answering Jake's question of can you be drawn over in, in, in an acca? Yeah, Answer that know. question. Don't know. So thanks very much for watching. We're at easyoz.com. I'm Ross Casey and this is Jake Jones.